my channel so today I'm back with another makeup tutorial and I did recreate the makeup look that Beyonce wore in her latest music video and I did the one where she was in the car and she had like all those braids and I just thought that look was so so pretty so I just thought I would recreate it for you guys I think it's so so wearable I mean I just love it I love this look so, um, so if you want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching so I'm going to start off with my brows first and I'm actually going to use the wonder brow my mum had this and I've seen so many people like talk about it on Instagram so I'm just going to try this out she does she does look really like natural in this like look so I'm going to go for like a natural brow well, I'm going to try to because you know me I always try to go like overboard with my brows so I'm just comb them out with a spoonie this is what it looks like so like it comes like a paintbrush I don't know if you can see that but um, I'm just gonna put some on the back of my hand I was just swatching the colors for the eyeshadow because I her eyeshadow looks red so I'm just gonna take it a bit on an angled brush and just like two little strokes apparently like this is super waterproof as well so those are my brows done I am gonna take my makeup revolution cream camouflage palette in the shade number four and I'm just gonna quickly like warm up this area around my mouth because it just looks really ashy when I put foundation in this area and it's I just hate it so much I also like to use my LA girl orange corrector if you want a drugstore one I just use either the two like I haven't been using this a lot so I just want to use it a bit more so when you look like you have like an orange beard or something you can go on to foundation Beyonce did look like she had a really flawless base so I'm going to use my Estee Lauder double wear foundation but I got a tester and I'm going to use the shade henna I'm usually the shade toasty toffee but sometimes like it's the perfect olive shade but sometimes it can make me look darker so I just wanted to try like a lighter one so I'm just gonna dot this over my skin and I'm going to use my Real Techniques buffing brush or expert face brush to just really buff this into my skin so as you can see henna looks like looks like a much better match for my skin So once I'm done with my foundation, I'm just going to go onto the eyes and I'm going to use this, um, the Balm Put A Lid On It Eye Primer. This was, this just came free with a palette, but I really like it to be honest. And then the first eyeshadow that I'm going to use is from my Zoeva Coco Blend Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to use this shade right here, which is called Substitute For Love. It's a very warm brown shade with a bit of glitter in it. Um, to be honest, we're just going to use this to really buff this into the crease. You don't want too much, you just like want to roughly just blend this in. Because her eyeshadow looked, looked really nice but effortless. That's what I love. And I'm just going to make a little bit of a kind of triangle. Because her eye shape was really like almondy. So once you're done blending that in, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics um, 88 Matte Colour Palette, I think that's what it's called, and I'm going to take this red shade right here, and I'm just going to put this all over my lid lightly. I'm just getting a clean brush and really diffusing that red colour out. Let me zoom in. I'm actually also taking this shade right here, which suits the colour in the picture better, I feel like. So I'm going to just wash that over the red as well. It's actually kind of lightening the red, which I prefer. With her eyeshadow, it looked very like sheer, like wet kind of looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Couture Palette and I'm going to quickly grab this shade right here. I'm just going to take it on the same brush and spritz it with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. 
just like that and I'm just gonna like really like wipe this over the center so this just gives a bit more sheen to it then I'm just gonna quickly take a clean brush and diffuse the edges So that's what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave the eyes like that and then I'm going to go on to concealer. Um, for concealer I think I'm going to use, I think I'm just going to go for my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Medium Dark Warm. I'm kind of running out so bad, it's like my favourite concealer ever. I'm not going to put it that much to be honest. I'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend this out. When I'm done with my concealer I'm just going to get my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And I'm going to use my beauty blender, like the tip of it. And just like set my concealer in with that I literally just leave it like that for a few seconds and I just brush it away um, but while I'm doing that I'm just gonna like add a little bit of bronzer and for my bronzer today I'm gonna use a bit something really warm and I'm gonna use this 17 matte Instant Glow Medium Bronzer it is a matte powder. I'm just going to buff this into my skin. She doesn't really look like she has much bronzer. From what I can tell from the picture, like, I'm blind anyway. It's like, it's so hard for me to tell like exactly what's on the picture. Because when I try to zoom in, the quality got, gets really bad, so... I'm just going to go from what I'm, I see from the picture, but I'm just like warming up the perimeter of my face. I'm just going to brush the excess powder away. Then for my lashes, I'm really not going to do much because I don't know if she's even got lashes on. I feel like she just put like falsies or something like that or even brown falsies I don't know if I'm probably lying but that's what I can see from the picture so I'm just gonna quickly tight line with this Primark black eyeliner pencil and I'm also gonna put a bit on the outer corner So now I'm going to take my roller lash mascara and I'm just going to kind of point my eyelashes towards the outer corner. I don't want to do anything too fancy. I just popped on my contact lenses which are the Fresh Look colour blends in sterling grey because she does have like coloured eyes so I thought I'd just add to the look. I'm also going to take this sleek palette and I'm going to grab this shade right here. It's quite a peach shade and it, this is the Iron Cheek palette Dancing Till Dusk 027 palette. And I'm just going to take um, the Real Techniques blush brush. Sometimes when I go a bit too overboard, I just like to go with my stippling brush and diffuse everything together. And then finally, I'm just going to add some highlight, my Becca Champagne Pop highlighter on my cheekbones. Same on the other side. I'm also going to take this Scandal Eyes mascara by Rimmel, it's the retro glam one and I'm gonna just apply a bit more mascara on the outer corner so 
So then for lips, I'm just going to do my lips nude. My hair keeps getting caught in this earring. Gosh, I'm so sick right now. It's so annoying. For my lips, I'm just going to go for a nude colour. And I'm just going to use my Max Factor Elixir. I think that's what it's called. Colour Elixir Lip Liner in the shade Brown and Nude. Yeah, brown and nude. And I'm just going to like fill my lips in with that as well. So it does look very orange on camera, so I'm going to add a bit of a brownie lip liner. And I'm going to use this LA Girl, or no, not LA Girl, LA Colors lip liner. And this is in the shade Cappuccino. And then the final step, I'm just going to take my Smashbox Primer Water and put my face. And that's it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoy this quick tutorial. Make sure to let me know in the comments below if you do enjoy watching these celebrity inspired makeup look tutorials. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more videos from me. And also follow me on social media. I'm Anushka on Instagram and Anushka Beauty on Twitter and Snapchat. So that's all I have to say. I hope you guys had a great weekend and until next time, I will see you then. Bye!